All right, we're back. It's me as usual, Dragonado twenty eight thirty one. And last time, wait, oh, wait, that's right. Last time we got the tall nut. No, oh, hang on. Now today we're playing level three dash nine. Now, this is a long one, so I doubt if I'll be able to do the conveyor belt level after this one. Now, last time I actually had to cut the video and... Well, actually... No, I only had to do... I could only do one level, because the thing was so long. Now, I know the audio is probably bad on this. I'm sorry about that. I have been working... Like a maniac trying to get this audio, I mean this background music, able to be heard, I guess you want to call it. Now we got three waves, we got three flags to go through on this thing. And there are pretty much no new zombies to talk about. And I already said a lot about the tall nut. Ah, uh, not again. Now, one way for you to defend yourself against those dolphin zombies 
Put a lily pad a good distance in front of your plants, and then stick a tall net there. That'll save you a lot of trouble. I'll tell you that much. Oh, come on. I thought I didn't have this to deal with. Yeah, I am recording this video a few days late. That's partially how come I forgot there was a Zamboni in this thing. I didn't want that there. Ah. Darn it! <gasps> okay, I, I just messed up. I literally just messed up. Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Go ahead, call me an idiot. Call me an idiot. Because I forgot to stick something to save my hide there. <sighs> I didn't even want to put that thing there. Ain't gonna happen too many times. I won't take make too many stupid mistakes of like that. Yeah, that is my very first time I lost a lot more on this thing. All right, then I got those zombonies to deal with as well. Alright, no, to, to go away. Yeah, so this is pretty much what you want your field to look like, except, well, you know, you'd have an extra lawnmower there. Another one, nice. Actually, you know what? Again, really? You stop it, dang it! To die already! Sheesh! Okay, now I gotta build, put another one right there. Why does it take so long to kill these things? Sheesh! Okay, I'm at least secure for the zombonies. Now I gotta just finish up this level here. Yeah, probably what you wanna do is put your torchwoods up faster. If I had that twin sunflower thing, I probably might have gotten that done, but um I don't, so you know. Why don't we? Don't even think about you. All right, now I definitely need torchwood. That's the only thing that'll take down a bucket head fast enough. And lo and behold, I got one. Thank you. Now, if zombies are closest, are pretty close to each other, like right here. Almost all of them will get hit. Come on, Tangle Cub, hurry up! Sheesh, how much can you eat? Oh boy. Alright. And that's the end of 3-9. I'm at the 9 minute mark. I'm going to continue. You found a note. Hello, we heard you were having a pool party. We think that is fun. We'll be right over since you're the zombies. This is another conveyor belt level. And this pretty much signifies the end of the pool levels. 
So, there isn't really too much of a strategy you can have with this, but I'll show you how I beat this thing. I'll show you how I beat this thing, okay? Now, they give you three Peters in this thing, thank goodness. And more than likely, I'm going to lose this thing, so... Now you gotta wanna save your jalapenos. Because if a zombie shows up and you're not prepared, you're gonna need it. Now this is actually one of my favorite conveyor belt levels, because now I can show you what I was talking about earlier with the, um, uh, three Peters. Now if you want, you can, you know, just do it like this. Just, you know, just get rid of a zombie right then and there. But, I mean, they give you a lot of three Peters. I mean, enough to practically have almost half the field, or, what do I say field, lawn covered in three Peters. Oh, no, you don't. I know what you're thinking, okay? I'm using my three Peters too much. And what you kind of want is a row of, um, torchwood. That way, you know, you can hit the zombies quicker. Now, I think these are the only plants you'll get. Three Peter, torchwood, and, um, lily pad, spike rock, I meant to say. Spike Rock and, um, let's face it, Tangle Kelp. Okay, so like, this level's pretty quick, so, um, I should be able to get through it. It's like, there are three waves to this thing, but I, c I should be able to get through it. Now, even if you put two torchwoods in front of, um, your, in front of your plants, that won't, you know, make any difference when it comes to the damage. It'll still just be, like, a certain number. It'll still just be double. It won't be, like, quadruple. Believe me, if that were the case, I would use torchwood on every level. Too bad they don't give you spike rocks on this thing. No, you don't. Anyways, I mean, this could make a pretty decent, um, last stand strategy, but, um, you'd just be burning through it rather quickly. Okay, I'm up to 13 minutes. Gotta have to hurry this up a bit. I know it's to 13 minutes, getting closer to 14. I'm gonna try and finish this level up. I'm not making any guarantees. I mean, this is pretty much how your lawn should look. That'll save me some trouble. Now, this is pretty much what you want it to look like. Alright, I'm slowly running out of time here, but I'm gonna try and get this done, okay? No, you don't. And there you go, you got it. So this is pretty much what the level's supposed to look like once you're done. Which I am not yet. Yeah, now if you put a squash in front of a zomboni, it'll still, you know, take it out. I mean, the squash will still take out the zomboni, not the other way around. Hey, stop it! Okay, I'm running out of time here, I've got to cut this short. Hey, sorry about that, I'm running out of time here, I've got to cut this short, I'll see you next time, bye.